Hey there guys, alright, today we are asking the question of how did Mexico react to the Zimmerman Telegram, a short t animated documentary by History Matters. This is a question that is also, that is, I would say, pretty popular among what if people, uh, wondering whether or not Mexico, what if, what if Mexico had said yes to the Zimmerman Telegram, what if they had had the means Really, because they really didn't have the, you know, the, there was a bunch of societal political issues happening within Mexico at the time of the Zimmerman telegram that they really were not in a position to do anything, let alone even if they were in a position to really do anything, would they have been able to do anything against the United States? No. Mexico, uh, Mexico, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you want to look at it, is incapable of challenging the United States, especially by this point in time, um, by the 1900s. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it would have distracted American troops, but, you know, it would have just distracted American troops. I don't think it would have, it wouldn't have taken away what the Germans were needing in World War I at the time, was they were needing British troops British and French troops to be pulled away from their front from the Western Front and put somewhere else. Mexico declaring on the United States would not have taken away really any British troops from the Western Front. So, yeah, it, it ultimately I feel like would have just done nothing. If anything, actually, it may have even uh, hastened their defeat because uh, the United States might have mobilized uh, an army faster than it had in uh, in our timeline and so that american troops could have been uh, a sizable amount of american troops could have been present on the western front earlier in 1918 than they were in our timeline but, but what if today though we're not asking that what if even though i just talked about it for like two minutes today we are just wondering we are getting the answer to how mexico reacted to the zimmerman telegram in general with that said Let's dive in. Much of the time when the Zimmerman telegram is discussed, the focus is often on the German, American and British reactions to it. Seldom yeah. does Mexico's part in the whole incident get a mention of what it intended to do. Sorry, Mexico. We always forget about you. But I don't. Well, depends on the situation. Sometimes I forget about you. Which obviously raises the question, how did Mexico react to the Zimmerman telegram? So just to let everyone... Also, this is two videos that kind of talk about Mexico, back to back from History Matters, because the previous one was about the Anschluss, uh, the annexation of Austria, and uh, in that, it was Mexico that had the biggest reaction to it, and now we're looking at yet another Mexican uh, reaction. Look. One though, the Zimmerman telegram was a diplomatic cable sent to Mexico from Germany in 1917 as World War I was ravaging the continent. This message, named after Arthur Zimmerman, the German foreign minister, gave German financial and political support to Mexico should it invade the United States. It promised to recognize Mexican ownership of Texas, New Mexico and Arizona, but not California or the rest of the territory that Mexico had lost to the US in 1848. Mexico at this point was, to put it mildly, not the most stable state in the world, and no. had been fighting a bloody civil war for roughly seven years, and yeah. relations with the United States were absolutely awful. As such, the Mexican government under President Benustiano Carranza turned to Germany for whatever support it could get. Given the US-Mexican tensions, the Germans felt that sending the telegram was worth a shot. One problem, the diplomatic cable had to travel through London. Before no. it could even cross the Atlantic, it was quickly intercepted and decoded by the British who promptly took Why the fuck would they even send it then? If they, like, it doesn't even matter if they encoded it, they, like, what? Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? You're sending it through London. Even if it's encoded, they're gonna catch it and then they'll eventually decode, like, uh -huh. told everyone. But the Germans could have simply denied it, right? Yes. Yet they didn't and Zimmerman <laughs> publicly declared it to be real in American opinion. Oh my opinion god. Germany did des did deserve to lose World War I. In rapidly shifted from oh. isolationism to let's go squash the Germans. Yet, before it was publicly known, Mexico had received the telegram. So what did they think? Well, Carranza didn't dismiss it straight away, and given his dislike oh. for the United States, he asked his generals how to wage war against it. The generals came to one conclusion. Fighting a war with the US would be easy. Winning it would be impossible. <laughs> I love that. I mean, didn't uh, the United States send in military forces into Mexico like just a few years prior 
was that do was that in part uh part of the manhunt um was that world war, or was that after world war 1 I? I can't remember i think it was during it was before world war 1 I, I want to say it was early 90s i can't remember Cuz i think they were were they going after Pancho Villa? And that's why the U.S. sent in troops? Sent in some troops? I can't remember. The reasons for their conclusions were thus. 1. The German offers of military aid were basically meaningless. Germany could send some U-boats, but their value would be limited, which meant that all they could really do was send some advisors. 2. Yep. Germany was being blockaded by the Royal Navy, and so good luck getting any of that promised cash. 3. Yep. Mexico was still fighting a civil war, and yep. wars on multiple fronts seldom end well. There was no sense fighting the US when behind the front lines revolutionaries would be trying to overthrow the government. 4. Mexico's economy couldn't handle a major war. The civil war had done little to affect Mexico's booming oil industry, but a blockade by the US Navy would have destroyed it completely. 5. Even if all these problems could have been avoided, the United States would have crushed Mexico anyway. You see, before this, the US had briefly occupied Veracruz in 19... Ah! 1914 after a diplomatic incident and there was little doubt that they could do it again don't try it <laughs> but for the whole country as such no action was taken by mexico because whilst carranza disliked the us he wasn't suicidal nothing was said or done about the zimmerman telegram because for mexico there was nothing to be done it couldn't have won the war and ultimately its leaders could see that germany wanted mexico to be little more than a speed bump to slow down american deployment to europe yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you and that was how Mexico reacted to the Zimmerman telegram, a short animated documentary by History Matters. And it was, you know, yeah, it was largely for just Mexico couldn't do anything, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you want to view it. Um, this was a good episode. They, I love how much History Matters is just able to fit things in to their videos. They always do such a fantastic fucking job with it. I've got nothing else to add here at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.